Shalom Israel, all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Racha Kodash, the one to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings to you, sincere Akim out there pushing the truth across the four corners of earth. All right, uh, this is 1 Corinthians 14 and 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. And this is very important. You know, whenever you have a body, there has to be a head. All right, and that head makes the decisions, makes certain decisions through the spirit. All right. And there are certain certain protocols. If, if you, you know, question or you uncertain about what they said, if this this is in the scripture, you know what I'm saying? There's a, there's a way that you do that. There's a way that you do everything. And we want to make sure that we're doing everything according to as the as the scriptures read. You know, something that requires a witness or witnesses, you want to make sure that you're doing that correctly. You know, it's something that requires, hey, you know, we were supposed to do this according to the scriptures or, hey, uh, what about, the, you know what I'm saying? Inquiries, you want to make sure everything's done decently and in order. You know, one of the things uh, when you watch a lot of these other groups who uh, split off, um, from Great Millstone, or, or they were kicked out, or whatever. That was one of the things I always saw. Which, which when you're going to done decently, let's see, look up that word for decently. See, you, you ske monos, you ske monos, in a seemly manner, decently. Uh huh. Let's get a little more. Shapely, graceful, calmly bearing oneself. Becomingly in speech and behavior, right? Back down here says uh, decorous, you know, basically with with decorum, noble, honorable, right, and that's that was the that was what we saw um, a lot of like like Sakari, they didn't do things um, decently and in order. You know, they were they were they went around throughout the wrong way. Of saying the wrong stuff, got tripped up, got confounded, and you know now you know you see the fruits of that. <laughs> and doing Passovers in the strip club, and you know merchandising, and charging money to 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 uh, edify, uh, or or not even, not even edify, charging money for for counseling and all kind of weird stuff. You know things that they would they were never taught. Elders never taught them that. All right, Hebrews thirteen and seventeen, because we're part of a body. You know the body has to have a head, and you follow the head. And that doesn't mean you're a blind follower or or, you know, what I'm saying you're a zombie or anything. But that's how a body works, and you have different parts of the body. This is Hebrews thirteen and seventeen. Obey them that have the rule over you, and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls. As they that must give account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. All right, so we want our uh, accounts to be um, good. We want our report to be. We want a good report with all men. We want a good name, which is better than ointment. All right, we don't want to be murmurers, backbiters, none of that stuff. Um, gainsayers, liars. You know, character in in this truth is very important. You know, that's a, there's a lot of scriptures on character. I notice a lot of <laughs> Israelite groups they skip over those scriptures. All right, they jump to the you know, you have to you have to deal with the whole book. You have to deal with all aspects of the book. You know, you jump over. It's not just about going out and calling a white man is the devil. And, you know, that's okay. We know Esau is the devil. But then, you know, there's that. There's the external parts, you know, certain other things. And then there are internal parts. You know, and that that's therein lies the problem with a, with a lot of Israelites. They don't want to internalize the scriptures. You know, this is a two-edged, this is a double-edged sword. Um, this is, um, that's not what I want. Jew 1. And I want to get straight to the point. And 20, it says, but she, beloved, 
building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, keeping yourself in the love of the most high. And that's what we're here for, man. We're here for the, for, to be in the love of the most high. We want to be in his mercy. We want to be found um, doing, working. Like I said, study to be quiet. We want to be found doing that and uh, handling our business. You know what I'm saying? And keep all this extra, all the extra distractions, you know, keeping all that down. You know, you don't want to, you want to constantly be, like I said, under the, under the microscope because you're constantly doing shit, saying stupid shit. Just keep it simple, man. Preach the word, you know, handle your business. And then, you know, everything else is going to be, we're going to get later. You know, hey, it's just, <laughs> look, we're all men, you know what I'm saying? We all feel, you know, a pull to, to, to do certain things, but certain things you just got to wait to do. Right? Certain things you got to wait for. You know, and that that's, hey, that's what it's about, man. Patience. <laughs> Patience. You know? Like the scriptures say, um, oh, I say a man found patiently. Yeah, Limitations 3. And 25, the Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord, which is not to say that you don't have your activities or whatever you have going on. But, hey, man, just keep it simple. Just do the work. Right? Just preach the gospel. Preach what it says. Right? It says it's good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. All right, you see, you know, it's, it's good to be a young man and learn and teach and, and do all these things. And, you know, just keep it simple. Keep things simple. All right, we want to be found, you know, like we want, we want to be coordinated and told, well done, my good and faithful servant. All right, back to Jude 1 and 22 and of some having compassion making a difference and others say with fear pulling them out of the fire hating even the garment spotted by the flesh now unto him that is able to keep you from falling right your head you know your, your bishop whoever that is and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy all right like i said we have to the, those who give an account for us Right, they have to rebuke you when it's time for you to be rebuked. You have to be corrected. You have to be guided. All right, we want to be presented faultless. You know, we liken we 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 want to liken ourselves to Yahweh Shai, who was perfect, All right, the lamb without blemish or spot. So we want to be unspotted, unblemished. You know, which men fall, men slip, but. You know, you don't want to you don't you don't want to keep making the same mistake. You don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over, man. The Lord will get rid of you and replace you. You know, like I said, he could he could he could make the stones. <laughs> he could raise up the stones to 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 speak. All right, the example being what numbers 14 yeah, I had this pulled up. Yeah, this is, and this is what that was in the law, Deuteronomy six and sixteen. This is how the, what the Lord Yahweh Shai said to Satan. He says, "You should not tempt the Lord your power as you tempted him in Massah." All right, when you read all those stories for going through the wilderness and all that, that was the problem that the Lord had with Israel. As soon as Moses turned the corner, uh, to 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 go up to the the chariot, you know. To go up uh, in the presence of the heavenly Father, Jake went went off to idolatry. Uh, it was just it was a lot of wickedness going on. All right, uh, Numbers fourteen and twenty four. But my my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit. Matter of fact, let me start at verse twenty three. Says surely they shall not see. Matter of fact, let's start at verse twenty two. Let's let's complete the idea. So like, because all those men which have seen my glory. And my miracles, which I did in Egypt. So they actually saw the miracles. Actually saw it. 
which I did in Egypt and in the wilderness, and have tempted me now these ten times, and have not hearkened to my voice. <laughs> tempted the Lord over and over. Now, we don't want to be, we don't want to tempt the Lord. Surely they shall not see the land which I swear unto their fathers, neither shall any of them that provoked me see it. But my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him, and hath followed me fully, him will I bring into the land wherein too he went, and his seed shall possess it. So the Lord started the order over with Joshua and Caleb. Didn't even let the certain generation go into Egypt. I mean, go into like it. Go in, go into um, Israel, the land of Israel from Egypt. All right, we want to be likened unto Caleb. Caleb meaning what? Dog Kalab. Yeah, a dog. Which you have a you have a dog meaning a heathen, but then you have your dog, your your loyal servant, right? Make sure you know clear on the context. We want to be you know, that's my dog. You know, that's my that's my that's my loyal. Well done, my loyal and faithful, my good and faithful servant. All right, and yeah, you're you're. Yes, men are going to lead you. Men are going to lead you. They might not always smile at you. They might not always laugh at your jokes. They might not always want to talk. They might rebuke you. They might correct you on something. They might be trying to tell you something. All right? Receive it because it's the Lord speaking. Very important, you know. A lot of men pick the scriptures up and then they become all knowing. And no, you're not all knowing just because you memorize the Bible. This is a journey. And a lot of times people can see, especially older men through the, through the spirit. They can see things that you can't see. They can see things that have happened before that you may not observe. So uh, with that being said, shalom to the elect. You know, let's continue to strive lawfully.